Bloomies are forever. Hello, happy Sunday evening. I am purchasing postage for some items that sold on eBay yesterday. As you can see in the background, I had two things sell and I thought I might make the pickup yesterday and I did not. My mail carrier just didn't pick things up. So the first was straight from YouTube. It was a Bagel Bagatelle embroidered jacket. I'll put that up on the screen. And the second one was a free people dress that sold for $35 on eBay. Um, both of those were from my Indo trading box. Then I have another four items, five that, that purchased, four that paid. So the first item we're gonna be wrapping up together is this adorable little girl's Pippa and Julie dress. I do have the tag on this, um, tag for this. It came off of it, so I'm just going to put it inside the package. And I had somebody purchase this for their daughter's Easter dress. I am going to use some aqua tissue paper inside as the dress has sequins and mesh and I don't want the sequins to catch on mesh. Yeah, that should be good. Here we go. And let's put this inside a plastic bag. I am going to be checking into biodegradable bags. Somebody had mentioned that and I love that idea. I inventoried my bags yesterday. <laughs> Fun, um, and it actually was. And I just have way too many um, to try anytime soon. Okay, so this is in a plastic bag and then we're gonna wrap it up in some fun Jilson Roberts tissue paper. For toppers today, we have some fun ribbon that my mom sent me that looks like vines. We have some cards that a subscriber sent me. I, of course, have my business cards. And like always, those read, you are enough. You are so enough. It is unbelievable how enough you are. I also found on TJ Maxx or Marshall's Clearance, some mermaid masks. These are face masks. I got a box of 10 for $1.50. The box had a giant rip in it, but the masks were perfect. So these were really inexpensive. And I have a few more things with initials from Hobby Lobby on clearance. So we'll see if anybody's name starts with an X or a Q or something. So now that she's wrapped up, Mandy purchased this and she paid $15.99. I'm running a 20% off sale, some kind of sale. So I think I had this for $19.99 and she purchased it for $15.99. And then the shipping was $4.99. And since this is very lightweight, we'll send it first class mail. Anything under 16 ounces, which is a pound here in America, America, I said that funny, at least in um, the United States, not all of America. Moving on. So she will receive a card and a business card. Also, I have these adorable little clothespins. Oh my goodness, they're so cute. So I'll put that on there. I think she can even get a mask. Oh yeah, that's still under 16 ounces. One of my subscribers sent me bright pink bags, which this one will go perfect with. So let's put this inside. Let's 
let's weigh this package. 8.2 ounces. So like always, I round up to the closest ounce. Nine ounces first class mail from me in Florida to Mandy in New York is $4.06. I'm going to purchase the postage. And I have my Dymo Label Writer 450 Turbo set up since everything was purchased through eBay that we will be printing tonight. My husband went on a walk, so I thought I would sneak this video in while he's walking around. And here we go. Thank you so much, Mandy. Very fun, colorful packages over there. And next we are going to, <laughs> let's see if I can pronounce this one. I know this isn't Joey. It's Joa, I, I don't know. This was from the Indo Trading Box as well. It sold for $34.99. I did disclose that there were a little bit of a fuzziness in areas. Um, so if I see any, I'll, I'll just trim them off, but I wouldn't have to do that. There we go. And Alyssa, like my name, but without an M, Alyssa is in Massachusetts. I can't believe how quickly things have been selling from that Indo trading box. And I did purchase another one. I had hoped to get a full pallet, but um, they didn't have pallets. They did sell out within like nine hours, I think they said. So this went for $34.99 plus $8.49 shipping. It's a very, a very fluffy sweater. Now I'm going to try to press all the air I can out of this. Good. Oh, let's go for this ribbon again. So much more fun. one and two pounds so it's going to have to ship at the two pound rate she paid eight dollars and 49 cents and lives in massachusetts let's check some options here at the two pound rate the regional a box is going to be 970 and just putting it in a poly mailer as long as it stays under two pounds is nine dollars and 41 cents so that's what we're going to do if I could squeeze this into a padded mailer, which is this size, the cost would go down to $7.33, but this really is quite the fluffy sweater. I, I just can't see myself sending something that tightly packed um, and having it arrive nicely. You could do that, no judgment. So I am going to pack this for $9.41. So with that said, now I know I can send a sheet mask. The sheet mask is in Korean, but basically it is a pearlized sheet mask. I've used one, I did not break out, which is amazing because I have very sensitive skin and I thought they'd be fun to attach. So let's go ahead and purchase our postage going to put this in a 12 by 15 poly mailer. And if 
if you ever have any questions with where I got my materials, you can ask down below, but most likely I have links. So feel free to look in the links, the description. Thank you, Alyssa. The next item is a Lance Originals very modest dress in a size six. I found this at a thrift shop. Couldn't tell you which one. Modest dresses sell pretty well for me. Um, and this one had that like plum purple color. This is, has a very high neck, long arms, no slits. Just a really nice solid modest dress. So I put church in the title, modest. Those keywords usually help these dresses. And this sold within a week for $25 plus $8 shipping. It sold to Maya in New York. I'm going to break out the lint roller. That's when I gathered the items for tonight. I put the sweater on top of this. And I'm going to fold this with the buttons in. That way the buttons don't, don't make a whole bunch of noise in shipment and get all dinged up. My husband and I have been watching Caribbean Life, which has been a very fun show because we like our beach almost better than any other beach we've seen in the world. And we've been to the Caribbean a few times um, before I was sick, of course business cards everywhere. So it's fun to <laughs> explore and be able to do it from our couch. Okay. Folding in, folding in. Looks good. where I got this dress then. I don't know. I got not paid more than four or five dollars for it at the very most. Now this will fit in a padded flat rate envelope. And I wanted to make sure I folded it that way because I knew it would fit comfortably. card with a bunny and some eggs. It matches very nicely, but we'll turn it upside down. And a business card. And that fit perfectly. So I don't have to weigh this, I just have to choose padded flat rate envelope. And eBay charges me $7.33 for anything I could fit in this envelope up to 70 pounds I think it is. It's a lot of weight. So um, unless I'm shipping pure gold, I think I'd be good. Print postage. And on to the last thing that has been paid for. Thank you, Maya. The one thing that I won't be packaging tonight is something that's been sold but not paid for. This is an Everlast spell out vintage singlet and it fits a woman's extra small small I put measurements and this sold for $19.99 but they haven't paid so we will set that off to the side and package these shoes these were from a thread up box and I purchased over 100 pairs of shoes in two separate boxes it was a, a lot of 50 and a lot of 50 and I still have about 20 pairs of those shoes but yes I have made money on the thread up lot I've had these shoes for about six months since that unboxing and they're in really nice condition all black 
I thought these would be great shoes for somebody to wear to work. And Babita in California purchased them. Now she paid $7.99 for the shoes. Again, I've had them forever, so that's awesome. And $7.99 for shipping. And she's in California, so I want to make sure to be able to put these in a flat rate padded mailer. If I just ship these to her, it's gonna be $10, $11 without the flat rate. So what I'm going to do is, watch, I'll show you. So I'm rolling up each shoe in its own tissue paper. I've also stuffed the insides with tissue paper. Nothing fancy, just a simple tuck and roll. And then I'm going to put them in a plastic bag, making sure to put them toe to heel. And now I will put a prettier piece of tissue paper around them. Bear and I haven't been thrift store shopping in so long. I still have so many things to list, but we are going to be doing our FabFitFun unboxing, hopefully tomorrow or the next day. And then we have come up with another idea for a video of testing out all of, so cute, all of the stain removers um, on Walmart shelves. And there are a lot of stain removers. So I have a video in the works for that as well. Here we go, let's see if it fits. Now a slight tip, which I'm sure you all know, always cut a little slit at the end, you're not putting something in, and that way the air can escape from the other side. I don't think I'm gonna have a problem with these. I probably didn't even need to make that slip. So, I'm going to cover it up with a blank Dymo label. And they're pretty secured in there. The padded mailer has um, bubble wrap built into it, so it'll be fine. And we are choosing padded flat rate envelope and the cost should be $7.33, and it is purchase postage. That was my last item for tonight. I have about 100 and, let's see how many I have. I was gonna say 125 or 130. I have 134 listed, um, and I haven't been, <laughs> I haven't been putting too many on lately. My fault. But this week, I only have one doctor appointment, so let's, let's hope I actually do something this week. Thank you so much, Babita. I hope you love them. And that's it. I am going to continue to put washi tape on my packages to fancy them up and wait for my husband. I promised him I would make him some grilled cheese sandwiches as he can finally eat warm food again after some dental surgery. He's doing great. The man, he's awesome. Do you want to see what I got? Oh, it's so fun. So if you didn't know, <laughs> we live in Florida in a very beachy area. I found this on the side of the road. It's like a big shelf. There's another one of these hearts. It's fishing themed. 
early to bed, early to rise, fish all day, makes make up lies. I don't like that one so much, but it even has a fishing hook. It's so cute. I could see this in somebody's rental house and I would take these off and just put keys there. So we found that. I found this welcome sign, very nautical. And it has, yeah, that's, that's not really my aesthetic. I mean, beachy is, but this is a little bit more nautical than I go. And then we found some shoes. We also found a box of like red, white, Italian themed cook plates and serving pieces and stuff, but they look to be from um, the Dollar Tree, so we just donated those. But we also found um, a light, a night light. This might also be donated. And then the shoes. I found two pairs of shoes on the side of the road. They're in pretty decent shape. And my feet do fit. They're an eight and a half and I'm a nine, but I don't really wear red, but aren't they cute? I think they're pretty cute. And then these, these are size eight. So pretty. And again, in excellent condition. Now I might only get $5 for these shoes, but they were free on the side of the road. We did really well. And then these two things I'll sell in a lot on Facebook. That's usually what I do. I have um, a table I just finished painting that I have to put on Facebook Marketplace too. Okay, that's where I'm going to sign off, sign off. That's where I'm going to sign off for tonight. And I hope you have a wonderful night's rest. Thank you. Bye. It is what it is. Good morning, it is Tuesday and I'm on day five of the cold. <laughs> so, I wasn't sure I'd be doing this this morning. I have Lysoled everything and I have some hat and sanitizer here. I feel like it's easing up a little bit, sneezing a ton, but not coughing as much. I did sell four things since yesterday, just through eBay. So I need to package those today. And it is 8.53 a.m. It is rainy here. So my mailman is probably gonna be a little bit late, which I'm counting on. Okay, the first thing I sold was a pair of Page Denim. These were in my Indo trading box. They sold for $49.99 plus shipping. The Nordstrom Rack tag has the clearance price of $44.75, so because they sold for under that, I'm going to use my little peely thing and get that off. I know I could use a blow dryer, but I don't have a blow dryer. I have one up in our guest bin which are coming down soon because we have a guest coming in April, but um, I just don't have a hair dryer uh, around the house. I do have a flat iron. Nope, I sold it. Never mind. Okay, so that came off nice and easily. I'm gonna fold these up. These are a fairly pair of light jeans, so I'm gonna give them away before um, I put them in the packing just to make sure they can ship first class. They are 14 ounces, so I have to keep them under the 16 ounce mark. I don't think I'll have a problem doing that, but I won't be adding anything super heavy to this package. Some aqua wrap, yeah. 
really wondering if I'm going to be able to use this footage. There are a lot of things I film. Oh, yeah, these scissors are so garbage. Singer. And then I'm not able to use. We'll see. of my nose just getting redder and redder. Okay, we have some package toppers. We have a polybaler. Before I use this polybaler, I'm going to weigh the entire package and just make sure it's under that 16 ounce mark. Fourteen seven. Janet in New York paid $49.99 for the jeans and she paid $4.99 for shipping. I've been adjusting my shipping a little bit, just playing around with it here and there. So the actual cost at 15 ounces first class mail, which is under a pound, is $5.12. Purchase postage. And I was really hoping to produce some videos, but just not sure. Thank you so much, Janet. Okay, the next item, we were at Walmart, I want to say about a week and a half ago, and right by the checkouts were all of these um, really pretty sweaters, and I got a whole bunch of different kinds, but I picked up, because I know I take a photo of like the small, and then list all of the sizes and just me measure the busts, which is what I did. So I paid a dollar to two dollars for all of the items. I think that's our trash man. <laughs> Make sure it's not the mailman. Um, and I listed them and it took like 10 minutes to list them. It was so quick. And originally they were $18.44. This one has a um, clearance tag of $13. And I'm going to pull that off because even though they paid $9.99, Holly in Texas, hi Holly, paid $7.49 to ship this. That was the issue I was thinking about as I was loading up the carts. Um, and anytime you see somebody like clearing shelves, you're going to be like, oh, what's on that shelf? Why are they taking 4,000 sweaters? Uh, Hey, ambulance. So I kind of looked them over <laughs> before I started grabbing and then people came over, but I got everything I wanted, I'm gonna say. The swimwear was all a dollar. The sweaters were a dollar to two dollars. I didn't pay anything over two dollars. So this is the first one that sold. I figured it would since it was the larger size. Um, but it's a black knit sweater. I'll just put the picture up. It's so pretty though. It's it's not a type of material I could wear, but I noticed when these were hung, um, a few of them had slight flaws. So I left the few that seemed to have pulls. And this one looks good. So we are going to fold it up. I'm going to make sure I fold it as a smaller package because um, Holly's in Texas. And I want to make sure this will fit in a priority flat rate mailer, which is a fairly small package. So I think it's going to fit best like that. So pretty. I have some, oh, it doesn't match. Does this match? This matches. We'll put some teal satin ribbon on it, which was from one of my subscribers. I got a box of ribbon. 
So anyway, the plan was to make the fun, Fab Fit Fun unboxing today. And I am doing, am I doing better than yesterday? I think I am. So we'll see. Okay, so we have this little, each initial came from Hobby Lobby ages and ages ago. I think I paid like five cents. Oh, it's a pin. Oh, that's even cuter. Business card. And a thank you card on a vintage playing card. Plastic bag. Let's do this in the right order. That was easy. So no need to weigh this, it's flat rate. I just have to choose priority mail, padded flat rate envelope. The cost if I went to the post office, which I hardly ever do, because why, is $8. And my cost is $7.33. So we are going to purchase the postage. Thank you so much, Holly. Next item is an item that sold the other day and they paid yesterday. It is the Everlast Singlet. Okay, so she purchased this for $19.99 on $4.49 ship. have the heat on today. That hasn't happened in weeks. That was the perfect little piece of ribbon. So cute. And I know I don't have an R, so we will give her a vintage playing card and a thank you card. to make sure I didn't have an R. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put in a face mask too, because this is very light. I'm gonna put the face mask on top of the plastic, just in case. inventoried my poly mailers the other day when I was feeling much better. And I found a bunch of my fish mailers. Let's give this away. 7.3, so we are rounding up to eight. And Rowan paid $19.99 and $4.49 for shipping. My cost from me in Florida to her in Washington is $3.63. So purchase postage. Our pool is being drained um, and completely retiled from inside. They did all of the outside and the surrounding deck and fixed the fence and the lock. I don't really know what was the issue there. I think somebody complained the tops weren't matching up perfectly or something. I don't know. Um, and I'm hoping it's, it's been raining for about two days, which is not normal here in Florida, but at least not for the summer season. Thank you, Rowan. And I'm hoping by the time we have guests in two weeks, they'll be finished. They're supposed to be finished, but we'll see. Okay, next item. Okay, that took a little bit for my brain to process. <laughs> These are uh, were from the Thread Up box. They're cute. They're city 
classified as the brand. They're a size six. And they've got a five inch black heel, little cork thing going on. And Carla paid $11.99 and then she paid $14.20 for shipping. So these are obviously gonna ship in a box. She's in Las Vegas, Nevada. So I have to do some protective measures to get these not all bent out of shape. So I'll show you what that is. These were obviously new because ThreadUp ships them with their non-branded um, bubble wrap. And they, they're, I mean, you just tell in, in real life at least. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is get some aqua tissue paper. I'm gonna make it a little bit of like a this shape like an ankle shape and just stuff it down in there. years ago. I think that's how that goes. Okay. Next, I am going to wrap them in a protective layer of tissue. tissue. Now I'm going to get bubble wrap. It's just right here. <laughs> these are fairly, these are fairly narrow, tall shoes. So I can just go around them once and they are going to have protection on both sides. We'll wrap that up with a little bow. And the reason I'm wrapping them separately is because, um, I think they'll fit in the box. The next thing I'm going to do is package these in two separate um, plastic mailers. And when I package these, I'm going to try to push out as much air as I can. I'm so glad this is the last item. And so, it's not feeling great. Also, my hair is doing some very fun things. I think the box we're going to use is called the shoe box. Let's see what it says on the actual box. Mailing box, shoe box. The only thing I don't love about these shoe boxes is that they don't have any self sealer on them. So I have to put a piece of tape just to keep them in place. That's going to be good enough to see if they fit. If this box doesn't work, we have a few more box options. But I put the shoe down. I think this is going to work because I packaged them separately. So basically, this is the bottom let's say this is the bottom I put one in like this and then one in like this whatever I fit them both in there um, I didn't put a business card or any extra in uh, Carla is K I don't believe I have any K's still have a Q F Y Y F very strange. Mm -hmm. 
And because we didn't put any fun tissue paper, I'm going to cover it in some fun tissue paper. There we go. Just going to use enough tape to seal this up. And then I will take this. And then I'll tape this up further in the house so I don't wake my husband. Because he has been awesome. Okay, I have to weigh this. Let's give it away. This is one pound, 10.4 ounces. So if it was first class, it'd have to be under 16. But we'd round up an ounce. With this, we could just round up to the next poundage, which is two pounds. So. Carla paid $14.20 for shipping, and my actual cost is $10.54. So I made not quite $4, but you see kind of what work is involved with packaging those kinds of shoes. If these were cheap ballet flats or like um, what's the brand Croc sandal, I could just put them in a poly mail or wrapped up in some. Um, lightweight cardboard think a shirt box or even bubble wrap but these are the kinds of shoes that I wanted to protect a little bit more carefully and print and we are done I'm not gonna put the label on this just yet because I have to take the whole thing up I hope you're having a wonderful day and you don't have a cold. <laughs> Bye. It is Saturday. Happy Saturday. Today I have a few packages to send out. The first is the Susima black skirt. It's a faux wrap, but it has this panel that looks like a real wrap. And this sold for $12 plus $7.33 shipping. And I weighed this, so I knew it had to go in a flat rate padded mailer for $7.33. Got a lot of black clothing. A little bit of that. <laughs> Should I point you down? Yes, you can see my ponytail. My hair's up. Okay. Also, I found this at the bins. I don't know how long ago. It's a broken in t-shirt. It says, what does it say on the back? Bring me to the beach, is that what it says? Can you see that? Nobody cares. I like it. I forget I have <laughs> soft like tank tops that are broken in. And I'm like, huh, I don't have any soft tank tops. I should buy some at the bins. And then I buy some and I'm like, oh, I still have that one. It's just in the wash. Okay. So, this is headed out to Nancy in Virginia going to be a little tricky to fold. Tricky to fold. Going to be tricky to fold. Is that right English? That wasn't right English. <laughs> I will save you the drama. He did not have most of the tooth pulled. Am I going to leave all this footage in here? I do not know. Okay, let's put some fun package toppers on Nancy's package. Oh, do I have an N? I don't think I do. Sorry, Nancy. Oh, I do have more cards though. Package toppers, they're vintage cards that I print out and says, it is in the cards for you to love your item. Somebody could use them as a bookmark or whatever. I got them from the bins. I think, question mark. And business cards. I feel like I haven't done this in four years. And a little thank you. So now that this is all wrapped up, let's put this in a flat rate. Oh, I don't have to weigh this. This is flat rate. I don't have to weigh this. So this is going to cost $7.33, but because I'm just going to print it on um, PayPal, $7.55. I know if I logged into Pirate Chip, I could save $0.22. Cents. 
<laughs> I do not need that drama in my life. So on PayPal, a flat rate envelope, a padded flat rate envelope is $7.55. I know if I logged on to Pirate Chip, which I love so much, it would be $7.33. We're just gonna hit pay. Honestly, 22 cents. I am just that. That's what I am. Okay, print. And I have my printer on and I have labels in there. And print. She's gonna have a secret thank you underneath her label because I should write thank you on top of the label. Thank you, Nancy. We're getting there, we're getting there. We've got two more to go. Next item. This is for the most adorable polo. Oh my goodness, look at this tiny little polo. Isn't it so cute? It flips up. And it has little whales underneath and pinks and blues. Look at it, it's so cute. It, baby stuff. I don't see it a lot. I don't see it ever. Last time I held a baby, <coughs> no idea. 10 years ago, I had no idea. Now this is white, but I am going to wrap this in tissue. Should I put the tissue on the outside or the inside? I always think the inside's nicer. I think I did the last one on the outside though. It's so cute. Oh my goodness, this is the cutest thing. Oh, this was originally $45. I sold it for $10. This is going to Laura and Laura? Laura. I think we pronounced it Laura on Long Island. But now I say it can't be Lara, could it? I think that's a yard sale HDTV show, Lara. So Laura. I clearly don't have any people in my life with the name Laura. It's still so cute. So I think this is going to her grandchild. I have about eight to 10 emails I have to get back to, but honestly, they're just not like, if you're waiting for an email, I'm so sorry. I try to get back to like people that really need help with eBay or really need help in some way, whether it be medical or you know, I try, but there's, there's going to be emails that fall by the wayside when I haven't slept. Have I mentioned I haven't slept? I've mentioned it 42 times. Stop saying it. Okay. So I don't know what the grandchild's name is. So let's just put a, what should I put on there? Maybe just another thank you. It's so cute. Oh, it don't go perfectly. So cute. Did I put this in this room? Nope, no, nope, I did not. So anyway, emails, yes, that is a plan. And editing videos, I've got two videos I need to edit at some point. Next week I have, I don't know where the planner went, Bear probably took it. That's my husband. Did I mention he's staying in a retirement community? I have no idea. You were gonna think I'm the most scattered brain person. I'm really quite organized usually. <laughs> I'm running on very little sleep and very little food because I need lidocaine injections, which I'm getting this week. 
Tuesday, Wednesday. I don't know, I have three or four appointments this week. This is five ounces, oh my goodness. So ship to Laura in Indiana. First class mail, which is under 16 ounces, five tiny little ounces, oh my goodness. Do, 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 do. 328. How much did she pay for this? <laughs> she paid 365 for shipping, so we're good. And again, I'm printing through PayPal. I think pri um, Pirate Chip would be the same price. And print. And the next item, next item. Yes. Mark. Thank you, Laura, and I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong. I have to go get the next item because I only pulled the yellow t-shirt. A yellow t-shirt sold in the extra large size. These retail for $22 at Nordstrom. Oh, these were Nordstrom, not Nordstrom Rack. Huh, interesting. And a pair of black pants, the Sajor pants. I loved those. I would have absolutely kept those in my size and I looked for them in my size. They don't make them in my size. You got it. Okay, go in your pants. We are back. Let's do these up. This might have been, well, oh, Top Shop pants were pretty close. I bought those in my size. <laughs> Come on, hands, we can do it. This had such a nice feel to these pants. I don't have any pants like this. I have a lot of cotton leggings and I have a pair of Everlane pants with a little string. <laughs> so little, I don't know that I'm going to be able to get it. Okay. Um, what was I saying? Everlane pants, yeah, that I wear all the time, but they're very high waisted. These had such nice fall to them. Darn it. And these were Nordstrom as well, Sojour. They're pleated. I do really well with my body type with pleated. And they're just marked 53.40 with pen. I guess that was a markdown price. And for some reason, even though these were in the same pile, they have no lint on them. That's weird. So let's Marie Kondo fold these. Okay, there's one little speck. And then I think we could put the yellow top in the same bag. And if you hadn't noticed, I have five of these. So the pants, I think, were 16, and the top was four, because she paid 20. I just charged 20 plus shipping, which was $8. I don't have anything yellow in my own wardrobe, if you haven't noticed. I don't have any red, orange, yellow, brown. I have blue, definitely all shades of blue. Dark, dark purple. Black, white. And kind of olive green. So past that, that's all I got. I stick to that color palette, it's easier. And mostly I'm just in like hang around clothes unless you see them in a video. Oh, 
I have to put package choppers on. And her name is Barbara, I think. Oh, uh, Brenda. Brenda. I don't have a Brenda. Are we at all shocked? I don't have a B. No, we are not. Let's do a card. Lots of cards. And an envelope. And then this will also go in a flat rate mailer for $7.55. Oh, and she's also in Florida. Okay, so I don't have to send this in a flat rate mailer. I'm gonna guess this is two pounds. Yeah, this is between one and two pounds, so it rounds up to two pounds. It's one pound, 3.3 .3 ounces. So it rounds up to two. You can put one pound, four ounces, but it's gonna be the same as two. Package dimensions, I always use 12 by 12 by three. Calculate shipping because she's in state and she's close. Well, it doesn't matter if she's close, she's in state. Um, oh, okay. It's $7.61 through PayPal. Again, it might be cheaper off PayPal, but we're just, we're doing the thing. So it is cheaper padded flat rate. It'll save me six cents. Plus I won't have to use a poly mailer. And I do, I think I get my poly mailers between three and eight cents, depending on how many I use, how many I buy. That's a better word. Make sure everything's tucked. Brenda's weather is as good as ours. Not that it matters, I'm not swimming or anything, but thank you, Brenda. Okay, we are caught up, and that is what sold. I'm sorry my head was cut off this whole time, but that is what sold from the Norge from Norge from Rack lot. I am thinking about giving a palette. It's a lot of clothing. We'll see, we'll see, it's not yet available. Okay, we are closing down and that's it. I'll talk to you some other time, bye. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And today we are putting together some sweet treats thanks to Grandma in a Box. Uh, normally Grandma doesn't fit in a box, but in this particular case, I guess she does. Huh. And for those of you who missed our last attempt at a food video, I suggest you return to Bear and Melissa make a gingerbread house. house. Gingerbread oh. house. Yes. Yes, and see the calamity that happened there. Yes. So this will be very fun for us. I've sent these boxes. They're normally $20 free shipping, but your first one can be $10 free shipping. So I've sent them to both my sister and some friends, and they both loved them. They made it? Yeah. And they said they were good? Yeah, they did. Okay. The whole thing is you get all of the supplies for three like projects, treat projects. Okay. I know. Are we all scared I'm going to? I can't open this. Okay. <laughs> so treat projects. Treat projects and everything you need is in this box. So all the cookies are already baked. The icings are ready to go. Oh look, it's fun. It's not blue, but it's fun. Okay, so there you go. March St. Patrick's Day treats. Am I supposed to read this? Yeah. Okay. We'll just play it by ear. Okay. So she includes a card with her email and her phone number. Huh. Terry is the woman who puts this together. And where is Terry from? She's from... The state. I have no idea. Okay. Whatever 760 is, is a post area code. Area code. So that's what's in the box. We'll take them out. 
Okay. Green melting chocolate. What are those called? Rice, Rice Krispies. Krispies? Yes. Rice Krispies. Pretzels and sticks. Okay. Several kinds of cookies. I um, think these are shortbread cookies, I'm guessing. Or sugar cookies. Or sugar cookies, yes. yes. We have two little things of de decorations, I guess. We're going to continue on. We forgot to turn the air conditioning off. <laughs> little cupcake things. Yep. Oh my goodness, look how adorable these are. Sprinkles. And mm. sanding sugars. This is still really cold. Icings, look how cute those are. Okay. And then some waxed paper, parchment paper. I'll see if I can warm them up a little bit. So the whole thing is you're supposed to be like ready to go with what you have here. Okay. And then everything like garbage wise goes back in the box and you can toss it. And it's just like a complete, so if you're sending this as a gift, that's really nice because you never know if somebody's going to have something. That's true. You warm it up. That's what I'm trying to do. You're a good warmer. <laughs> oh, we each got our own. Nice. Okay, so directions. Let's see what we're making here. Okay. There's three different cards for three different directions. Do you want to start with the Shamrock Pretzel Pops, the Crispy Pot of Gold Cups, or the St. Patrick's Day Cookies? Uh, I guess we'll try the pretzels first because these are still warming up. We don't need these for pretzels, right? Mm, I honestly don't know. Okay. Well, it looks like we're also going to need a microwave, so I'll go out and do that because Bear's kind of like landlocked in here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for this project, you will need the melting chocolate, pretzels, popsicle sticks, green, yellow, white sprinkles, a spoon, and a microwavable bowl. Uh, I missed one thing there, the sticks. The melting chocolate? The sticks are with the pretzels. Oh, okay. The green chocolate is melted. Okay. Grandma says, you may have to do another 15 seconds depending on your microwave. Oh, we did have to do another 15 seconds. Okay, well, Grandma was right about that. <laughs> do not overheat or you will scorch your chocolate. We didn't want to do that. We didn't want to scorch chocolate. No. <laughs> Definitely not. Okay. Lay out the pretzels in groups of three with one popsicle stick each. Okay, and they said to do this. Hey, man, take your own sticks. Oh, I didn't realize he divvied them out already. Okay. Okay, so they're supposed to look like a four leaf clover, I'm assuming, right? Or yes. three leaf, so like something. Because we are making shamrock pretzel pops. I like it. Okay. All right. Something like that? Well, yes, but that's not going to be four leaf, right? It's, not... uh, it's going to be three leaf. Is only three leaf? Yeah, it's three leaf. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, holding the double loop with your fingers, carefully dip the single loop of each pretzel into the melted chocolate. Then arrange so that they are touching the popsicle stick in a shamrock pattern. One left side, one right side, and one on the top touching the popsicle stick. I feel like I'm going to screw this up already. Hey man, already it's better than the gingerbread house. <laughs> it's awful. Yeah. Okay, something like this, maybe? Yes. Should I put a little bit more on top so it really sticks? So you're trying to glue them all together, huh? I am. Okay. It's a mess, but it looks good. All right. So it's now a mess I'm, and it looks good. This now time. I'm trying? Yeah, you go for it. And okay. I'll take some and I'll go for it. We'll just go for it. Okay. So we're each supposed to have three, right? Yes. I think I somehow screwed up already because I got the wrong. <laughs> Just eat it. They give extras, I think. What do you mean extras? That's just right there. I just ate it. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, one on one side. This does kind of look cute. I think you have a good plan, though, to spread that out after they're down there. Yeah. I'm going to do my third one and then see how much we have left. Okay. Oh, I think we'll have plenty. Plus, I ate one and you ate one. I didn't eat one. You ate one, I put one in your mouth. I saw you eat one. Everybody saw you eat one. The one I just did? No, oh, the well. one before. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, I need one more. Now, if you try this at home, make sure you use the bottom loop as the one you need to have the stuff on. 
Grandma did say hold it with the two loops. The two loops, she did, Grandma. Way to go. How much do you need left? Mm. Once we put these in the freezer, they should. Is that what you're supposed to do? I'm guessing. Uh, I think it says just let them sit. Okay. I can't imagine under these bright lights that that'll work, but maybe. It says, let the treats set up on the wax paper for at least five minutes before you try to move them. Okay. What a wonderful shamrock popsicle to eat or <laughs> give as a gift. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. It doesn't seem like very much gift giving, a little popsicle. Well, you give it to the right kid, they're going to be thrilled. Oh. Well, this kid was thinking that's not enough to eat. <laughs> that's what this kid... It's six popsicles. I, I, yeah, okay, whatever, man. But you want me to just... scrape it out for you, the rest of it? Yeah, I just need another spot here. I didn't do the evening out good enough. That's okay. Okay. Yeah, we have plenty of chocolate, even with eating a few. <laughs> okay, well that's good because I need some. I can go get the rubber meat spatula if you need more than that. My hands are perfectly clean, by the way. I'm sure. <laughs> Not like you just lick them. Well, I'm not giving this to any of those people to eat, so it doesn't matter. You mean the bloomies? The bloomies! <laughs> I did send this to my niece who's nine. She might have been eight at the time. I've sent a few boxes out and they loved it. And then I sent it to some eBayers and YouTubers and they also loved it. Okay. So maybe one other person. I think my cousin's kids got a box. We got enough? I think so. What do you think? No. Yours are much more. No, I can eat this. You can eat it. Okay, so next is sprinkles. Mine's, mine's neater, you said? Yeah, I think yours is neater. Really? Next, we sprinkle sprinkles on these. Um, they just have food coloring to make this color green. This, what I'm eating, green? Yep, it's white melting discs. Uh-oh, hold the double loop. Grandma says be sure to leave half of the chocolate for the next project. Grandma. We didn't have oh, half of the chocolate. Oh, slow, that Grandma. That wasn't going to happen. First of all, it wasn't enough, Grandma. <laughs> I'm sure I just put too much. Like, look how, how much that one has. Mm -hmm. Okay, you want to put little sprinkles on yours? Uh, sure. Okay, that's a movie reference. Okay. Movie reference, fat guy in a little coat. That's what I feel like. What's fat guy in a little coat? You remember? Come on. Tommy. From Tommy Boy. Boy. When he had on David Spade's jacket and he ripped it out, he's like, fat guy in a little coat, and he was trying to get him to take it off. Because <laughs> he didn't fit. That's how I feel in the world, mostly. I don't fit. You don't fit. Yeah. When you went and visited a Japan, he oh. really didn't oh, fit. Yeah, it was real smooth. Okay. So we are going to move on to the cookies since we have all of the ingredients for that one. Okay. Open your cookies. All right. I'll open the cookies over here in the refrigerator. Oh, okay. Apparently we have an aircraft landing in our backyard <laughs> as well at the moment. Okay, so you get a shamrock and I get two shamrocks. There we go. Now we're... Now we're oh, good. wait, I got a pot too. This is a pot of gold. Right? It is a pot of gold. Okay, good. Okay, so we're supposed to use the... We're supposed to, first of all, let me get off the recipe here. Okay, what are we doing here? We're St. Patrick's Day cookies? That's yeah, what we're doing? that's what we're doing. Okay, this is the third project, even though we skipped the second. <laughs> For this project, you will need the cookies, frosting, and sprinkles from your box, which we saved a little. We looked ahead with the sprinkles. <laughs> okay. Um, you will also need scissors, a small paper plate, one or two knives for spreading frosting and toothpicks for decorating techniques. That would be optional though. Okay. okay. Well, I am going to get the knives and paper plates, so you can keep reading. I'll keep reading. Okay. While you're gone. Okay. Hold on. Let me get out of the shop before you start. Okay. okay. We need to gently knead the frosting bags for a minute. If it looks like the frosting has separated during shipping, carefully snip a small highlighted in bold, 
piece of the tip from the frosting bags. Gently squeeze out the air out of the bag until the frosting starts to flow. Grandma says, be careful not to cut the frosting hole too big. You can always cut off more after you test the flow. Okay, test the amount of frosting coming out by drawing a line on the edge of your wax paper. You can cut more of the tip if frosting is too thin or too hard to push out. Grandma says, do not remove the tie twist from the end of the frosting bag. Don't do that. Okay. Don't, don't. okay. All right. I think that's enough instructions for now. Okay. Okay. So, so we're making a very yeah. tiny cut. Yes, and this one already has a hole in the side. So, yeah. Let's just put your finger over that, you think? Or Can I just use that as the thing? Sure. Okay. This, huh? this is a good piping size. Oh, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> That's going to get terribly. You're doing great. Mm, well, not really, because this hole in this bag is making me really bad. Do you want me to get your new bag? No. I think the comedic level will be better <laughs> with the, me trying to use a bag like this. Clearly my piping skills are lacking. That's okay, you can use... Maybe I'll try the white. Okay. And we do a little, not a big cut. Definitely little. Okay. You always cut it bigger. That's what Grandma said. <laughs> Stop rocking the table, man. Hmm. This green is almost like iridescent. It's really pretty. I think in spite of Grandma's warning, mm -hmm. I've cut the whole too big. <laughs> that's what I think. Well, I'm sure that's fine. Now I've just made a blob there. Yeah, I see that. That's okay. All right. This is the only icing we're going to need? Yes. I'm, I'm Make, make a double layer on this one here, a double line on this one. Quick little thing. In fairness, you used to be a cake decorator, so. I did. Come on. And we joke about a lot of things here. Yes, we do. But I was actually a cake decorator. Oh. Huh. I thought you were going to be like, ow. I thought you were going to be like, oh, I actually think I. Nice! I drew blood! Don't show them. Nobody wants to see blood. Well, that means you're How really working How did you draw out. blood? This thing right here. I tried to really? squeeze it. Yes, and there's a wire in there. Grandma needs to use wireless. Ones. Grandma said don't take that off. <laughs> I know. Okay. Cut my hole too small. This is a face that's a little mad about <laughs> about cut, hurting his finger. That's what that is. Do you need a band-aid? Can you stop shaking the table? Do you need a band-aid? Seriously? No, I don't need a band-aid. Sugar, yeah, that's the way to go. Now the third project, if we could have made it, which we can't because we have no more chocolate, would have been the chocolate, melted chocolate, Rice Krispies, and mixing those together, and then putting the gold coins on top of it, and putting them in these little, little cups. Our fault for eating the chocolate, or using way too much, honestly. That's probably what happened. And I really do think these aren't going to set up within 15 minutes. We're going to have to put them in the freezer. Okay. 
beautiful. Hmm. So what now? Well, since we don't have the chocolate, the only thing we have left is icing. We could mix some Rice Krispies with the icing and try to do that third treat. Sure. Yeah, you want to try that? Third project. Yep. Okay. Here it is here. It's actually the oh, second. Oh, second project. We already did the third. We jumped ahead. Second project. This is called the Crispy Pot of Gold Cups. All right. For this project, you will need the package of crispy rice cereal. Notice how they didn't call them rice, rice krispies. Mm, crispy rice. Yeah. Gold coin sprinkles, gold paper cups, spoon, and melted chocolate from project one. Which, or icing from project three. Oh, if necessary, reheat the melting chocolate for up to 15 seconds. Stir with the spoon until smooth. We don't need to do that portion, correct? No. Okay. Pour the cereal into the melted chocolate bowl. Working quickly, stir with a spoon to coat all the ingredients. Don't mess around, sweetie. Got it. Grandma says, don't worry if the chocolate doesn't coat all the ingredients. Oh, don't worry. Grandma says it. Pour a spoonful of the mixture into each of the six paper cups and top with gold coin sprinkles to make a pot of gold. Grandma says, be sure to have a few gold coins. Be sure to save a few gold coins for project three. Ah, but we've already moved ahead. <laughs> okay, it will take about five minutes for the street to set up. Then you can peel off the paper cup and enjoy this chocolatey, crispy treat. Apparently, we don't have to give these ones away. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Grandma says we can just eat these. Okay. Did you really? Well, the other one said you can give them as a treat. This one just says about five minutes and then you can eat them. Nice. Okay, so I'm making yours. Okay. You can put some gold discs on it, or really, you could just put sugar on it. That's what I'm putting on. Those gold discs are bad. What did you think about that? Well, I think it was probably better than a gingerbread house. Yeah, easier. <laughs> Much easier. Yeah. Okay. And we had leftover icing, which, again, we used for the second project, but mm -hmm. we would have had that. And a whole bunch of different sprinkles, which I will save. Uh, maybe one of us eats these. Probably not. So basically, after you've eaten everything, which we're not going to at this point, okay. the thing is you can put everything back in the box and just toss or recycle everything. So, okay. very fun. So now I can eat one of these? Of course. Okay. I don't know how good it's going to be. Did you want a spoon? Well, it's sweet. I'm sure. You're eating icing. Mm hmm And now I can eat one of those? You can eat as much as you want. Okay, so I'll eat this one here. Okay. One of the cookies? Yeah, this little shamrock here that I decorated so beautifully. Pretty good, too. Good? Mm hmm Good. Well, I guess the last thing I have to try is one of these. Yeah, I don't think they've set up, even though she said they would. Well, yeah, a little bit. Nice job. <laughs> delivered, 20 bucks delivered. First box is $10. We paid for this out of our own money. I really like this company, so I'll link them below. But I don't get anything if you sign up. It's just a fun, fun thing to send to somebody else, I think, too. Sure. Okay. All right, what else are we doing now? <laughs> Cleaning up. Okay. So now we're saying bye? Yes. So we do bonus? Sure. Okay. I'll probably cut this in fact. Let's do that just in case this is at the end of the episode. But I'll probably put this in with another thing. Do you know what I mean? This is not. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is, yeah, it's right. too short. Okay. Okay. So, uh, Bloomies on three. Bloomies on three. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. Bloomies! We, we hope, hope your day. day is blooming, blooming with joy. joy and you don't knock anything over. Bye. Bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.